young man stands in a classroom. It just so happens that today, his AP Statistics final is due, along with it being his 18th birthday. Though it was 18 years ago he was given life, it is only today he will be given a name. One to put on this extremely revolutionary and life-changing project. You give him the name Micah, and it looks like he's pretty happy with that. With that out of the way, it's time to begin this adventure and put this stupid reference to an end. I'm sorry you had to endure that. The circumstances were just way too perfect for me not to do something like that. Through its hundreds of unique elements, over 8,000 pages, and lore so convoluted even fans don't understand, Homestuck has taken over my life like the plague that it is. Through all of that, one of the most unique aspects of Homestuck is, well, the aspects. Upon ascending to the god tiers, each character is assigned an aspect that represents their powers, strengths, weaknesses, and a lot more that I don't have the time to get into. There are 12 aspects in the webcomic, them being time, space, heart, mind, hope, rage, light, void, breath, blood, life, and doom. One other essential part of Homestuck is its community. Many fans, myself included, like to create original characters or OCs based off of the source material. With Homestuck being so popular, there's thousands upon thousands of OCs, and it got me thinking. When people make their own Homestuck OCs, are any of the 12 aspects more popular than the others? To test this out, I prepared a chi-squared goodness of fit test. To get a sample, I used Toy House, an online OC storage site, and looked under the Homestuck tag. At the time of doing the experiment, there are 381 pages on the tag, with 60 characters per page, creating a population of about 22,680. I randomly generated 30 numbers, 1 to 381, selecting the pages that corresponded with those numbers. Then, for each of the 30 pages, I generated 10 more numbers from 1 to 60, with the characters themselves assigned in numerical order. For any character I got, I recorded the aspect listed on their profile. However, due to the nature of Toy House, a large amount of the characters didn't have anything listed. To compromise, I continued down the line of characters until I found one with an aspect. This technically means that my sample isn't completely random, but I made the sacrifice in the interest of time, seeing as I already had a late start on the project due to taking the AP exam, and knowing that I wanted to make this video, which means that I didn't have as much time to wiggle around. After gathering all my data, I ended up with the distribution listed on the screen. Altogether, this adds up to a sample of... 298. It looks like I somewhere lost two data points, but oh well. Two little points won't change much, seeing as I have such a big sample already. I decided to perform my test at a significance level of 0.05, with a null hypothesis of the true distribution of Homestuck OC aspects shows no form of bias. Meanwhile, the alternative hypothesis says, the true distribution of Homestuck OC aspects shows some form of bias. With a sample size of 298 and 12 categories, the expected values for each aspect would be 24.8 data points. Next, I'll check to see if the conditions to perform this test have been met. The random condition was discussed earlier, but the other two still need to be touched on. For the 10% condition, 298 is less than 10% of 22,680 Homestuck OCs. For the large count condition, the smallest observed value, Hope with 17 points, is greater than 5, so I think it's safe to proceed with the procedure. However, maybe having a little bit of caution due to the random sample mishap. With there being 12 categories, I'll be using 11 degrees of freedom. Calculating out the test statistic gives me 11.6649, making my chi-squared graph look like this. Calculating the shaded area under the curve gives me a p-value of 0.389, which means that, assuming the null hypothesis is true, there is a 38.9% chance of getting the distribution I observed by random chance alone. Because the p-value of 0.389 is much higher than the significance level of 0.05, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. This means I did not find convincing evidence that the true distribution of Homestuck OC aspects shows some form of bias. Although my procedure gives no evidence for there being bias, I'm not too surprised that my highest observed value was time. Not only is time essential for any suburb session to be successful, but some of the most adored characters, Dave Strider and Aradia Megado also happen to be time players. I can definitely see why people would be more inclined to make time OCs, but it looks like that was just a random quirk of my sample. I know Mr. Budik and my classmates have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about with this, but Homestuck is something I'm extremely passionate about, and I hope that shows through my project. 
it was genuinely really fun and interesting to do, and I'm happy I had the freedom to make my last project of my high school career so special to me.